Hi everyone. On this Godot tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create a physics body for the pool of bullets. First, we will see the bulletta that we were using in the previous tutorial about the pool of bullets. Uh, here, you, as you can see, we change this line for the class entity bullet, and we're in editance from that entity bullet scene. Let's open it. As you can see, I'm defining a signal, the class. This signal will trigger once a body or an area is detected. We got the radius at 32, the result, the query, and the read the collider collision and the results we're gonna create this physics server and we're gonna set which collisions we want we want to collide with this is representing a collision shape in another words first we're creating the shape read which is gonna be a shape of a circle then from the physics server to the we're going to set the data which is going to contain the shape read and the radius. Then we're going to set all of the queries for that specific collision body. Starting with the read. It's going to be this one here, the shape read. Then we're going to set the instructions. We're going to collide with bodies and also areas and at last we're gonna set the mask setting the mask is this as you can see a mask has 32 um, 32 possibilities starting with 1 and ending on 32 so basically here we need to set um, for example the 1 it's the bit value 1. The 2 is going to be the 2 as well. But this on the third one it changed because the bit value is 4 instead of 3. So it's exponentially going up, increasing. The 4 is going to be the 8 and then 16, 32, 48, 48 here. I mean, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, because it's increasing exponentially. So for the 9, it's going to be 256, as you can see here, and so on. Then it's going to keep increasing, increasing. Um, but since we don't really work with bit, it's not something easy, it's a little confusing. Um, and we got a different function or a different way to get that value for that specific layer or collision. In this case, our collision. So if we want the 1 or the 2, we will just add it here directly without looking at the bit mass value. So we're going to call this function util get collision value from layers. Here is an static function which we're going to input an array of numbers, integer numbers. And for each of those layers, we're going to check if it's type int and if it's greater or equals to 1 or if the layer is less or equals to 32. Then we're going to proceed to get that number. For example, the number is um, 2. For example, it's going to be a 2. So we're going to do a mathematical operation here. And then it's going to return that collision value. For example, if it was a, an input of 4, then we're going to get the collision value corresponding to 4. If it, 1 is 1, 2 is 2. 3 is 4 then the 4 is going to be 16 
as the returning value of the collision. So we can set multiple integers collision layers here. Um, in this case we're gonna set on this boleta we're gonna set the 2 and the 14. We're actually just interested on the 2 which is gonna be the target body. He's in the layer 2 and we're looking for that layer on the bullet. It's looking for the 2. Then after setting up all of this we're gonna create this function physics server update which is gonna return the results. As soon as we get the first result that is intersecting with a body on an area we're gonna call that result and we're gonna gather the result of that specific results because this is returning all of the uh, results but we're just getting one so it's not really like a, a big issue here so we're getting the collider which is gonna be for example the bat the target body if it's a tile map it's gonna return tile map if that collider belongs to the group tile map else we're gonna meet a signal that is when we're gonna trigger hey we just collided and then we're also updating the transform of that physic body then we're gonna call this on the bulletta we're gonna set the physics server as I mentioned before and then we're gonna call the signal that we're using for the inheritance father for example um, the entity bullet is um, like a parent in this case so we're gonna call it we're gonna call the signal enter body X and we're gonna, gonna connect it to enter body if the collider is a talma it's gonna return else we're gonna set the bullet inactive and we're gonna print collided and as I mentioned the second function that we set up on entity bullet we're kinda like calling it it calling it here sorry as physics server update so that's gonna be f um, updating every frame on the target body we're not doing any script we got the collision which is just a circle we got the um, collision layer which is two and then we're gonna test this out here as you can see it's colliding boom it's setting inactive so it's collided 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 I have an extra print here when we don't have any bullet available and next I'm going to correct something that I did on the pool of bulletas so we're creating the init bullets okay and then we just need to put instead of pop back we need to get the pump, fr pump, pump front method that's gonna get the element that is in front instead of the one that is in the back which is gonna fix any type of um, cases where an enemy will shoot a bullet and then another enemy will request that same bullet and then shoot it that's gonna be totally fixed with this also we don't need this function here so here we got some clean code and now we can go into the boleta and also fix this so here in the inactive we're checking with this if we got this bullet then we're gonna erase it from the use pool array and if we don't have this bullet on the available pool then we're gonna put it on that specific um, array and the same goes here it's just the checking if it's um, if it has the available pool if we got the this bullet is on the available pool then we're gonna erase it else if it's um, 
not on the use pool then we're gonna append it to the use pool that that will synchronize and all enemies will know when they are shooting like that bullet is in use and as you can see it's now working with the physics server collided collided and yes that's gonna be all for today also um, I wanna say thanks to everybody that has supported me during my journey for creating a game in Godot um, I'm very very uh, thankfully of all of this um, help and supportive uh, moments um, I got um, for this game that I'm creating Bounty Hunters which is a really cool story about um, a couple which are the people who are controlling the, the spider match um, they are a couple and they're trying just to escape because they kill the, the knight I mean the king of that universe and then everybody is after them uh, dead or alive so they have to survive somehow and they're gonna be facing wave of enemies bosses um, getting different type of weapons um, they're gonna be able to buy stuff um, and a lot of love more that's gonna be introduced on on this game I'm actually creating a demo so I can place it on the Steam Fest for February 2024 and I'm almost done with it um, I just wanna say thanks be because all of the wish lists that I have uh, for this game which are around 70 last time I checked and I really appreciate that um, if you haven't add this game to the wish list you can go ahead and, and do it um, I promise that this game will actually blown um, it's totally um, an adventure uh, full of mysteries and a lot more to come um, well that's all I have to say for today Thank you for uh, watching and subscribe and comment. Goodbye.